This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. Today, I want to go over this tweet by that umbrella guy about Amber Heard's friend, Eve Barlow, and how she's actually using the attention that the war in the Ukraine and Russia is getting to further you know who's, let's just say, Amber Heard's name out there in the media. I find this to be really, really, really low class, unforgivable. And just one of the worst things you could do. I mean, if she reports on the war and she's got opinions and things like that that I don't like, that's fine, actually. Everyone has the right to their opinion. I'd hope it had some logic to it and some facts behind it. But all in all, I'm not going to really blame her for anything political and mix and match it with this case. But she's actually mentioning Amber in an article that's political? about this war. So you could say she's really taking advantage of all the people out there who are mixed up in this, who are suffering. So shout out to that umbrella guy for featuring this and let's take a look. He says, Amber Heard's main simp Eve Barlow used the Russia-Ukraine war and all that death and suffering to push debunked lies about Johnny Depp while simping a domestic abuser. I couldn't have put it better myself. Okay, maybe I could have put it about the same. But some really good wording there by that umbrella guy. He could have added in Amber Heard's main female simp because I'm sure Amber's got some male simps also way up there on the ladder of simps. So here's the first part of his tweet, and it says, Russia's war, is this how you thought the internet would react? By Eve Barlow, February 24th, obviously 2022. Explosions have been heard in the Ukrainian cities of Kviv, if I'm saying that right, sorry if I'm not, and Kharkiv. Okay, someone's going to kill me on those pronunciations. I'm not quite there yet, but you guys know what's going on. In what is likely the beginning of a full-scale Russian invasion. And to be clear, I can't support war in any way, shape, or form. Anyway, let's stick to the point here, because this is where she actually uses Amber's name. In Jewish advocacy, many of us experience insistent attacks from Iranian bots, particularly when tensions are mounting in the Middle East. I defend Amber Heard online, who has been attacked by Russian bots acquired by her ex-husband Johnny Depp's lawyer with the intention of destroying her career and reputation and creating a mass smear campaign around the truth of her experience because that's exactly what Russia is interested in. They're interested in Amber Heard and getting those bots out there and selling bots to Adam Waldman to make sure the truth comes out about the monstrous evil Johnny Depp. That's the big top priority of Putin right now in the world. It always has been. Great job, Eve. You made us really turn our heads to the truth and the important things going on in the world. So this is also from the same article where she goes on to complain about her hate name, she calls it Eve Fartlow. And I would say she might deserve that for doing things like this. I'm still not going to say it. I'm not saying I don't make fun of people. Once in a while, I will poke a joke here and there, but usually I don't keep using it over and over and over and make it normal. But when I see stuff like this, well, I guess I could see where those people get the idea to make names like that from. So the Black Pearl says, our expectations for you were low, but holy fuck. Pretty funny. And Blinkpipe says, um, Russian bots are not even people, so how are they even Russian to equate into the war? Watch a flying monkey reach. I mean, the implication is, the bots are made in Russia... So, yes, they're not technically, like, actually Russian, but they're from Russia, allegedly. And I gotta remind you guys, these are the same bots that hated Star Wars The Last Jedi, of course. Because when the Russians aren't doing something like starting a war, they gotta attack things like Amber Heard and The Last Jedi. Or sell bots to Americans to help Americans really solve their big problems. 
You guys, let me know what you think down below. Do you think that these Russian bots are actually, actually now after Amber? What do you think about Eve Barlow and her actually using this really sad situation to mention Amber's name? I think I know what you're going to say, but please put it down there in the comments anyway. And if you're not subscribed here, consider it. I'm doing Death vs. Heard, pop culture, celebrity news, stuff like that. If you don't subscribe here, well, I guess it'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.